Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. This is Pastor Rick, and I have your word for today. Today we're talking about a scripture that Jesus was teaching about in Matthew chapter 7, verses 13 and 14. Jesus says in this passage, Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many enter through it. But small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. Now think about this. Think about you have a business trip and you need to get to Colorado tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock for a very important meeting. So you order your ticket online. The next morning, you go to the airport, you go to the ticket booth, and the attendant there says, hey, you can really go anywhere you want. Just pick a flight. We've got plenty of seats. Pick a gate. Go wherever you want. And you think, wait, I, I have to be in Colorado. Doesn't matter. Go wherever you want. You can do whatever you want to do. Fly anywhere you want to go. Be anywhere you want to be. So you look around the airport trying to find what you want to do, where you want to go, what gate you want to go to. And all of a sudden you see a line, a long line of these people with flip-flops and shorts and Hawaiian shirts on. And you think, those guys look like they're going to have fun. That's what I want to do. So you get in line, you find yourself on a flight to Hawaii. Now, people wouldn't do that, at least I hope not. But people live their lives that way. Day to day, we make daily choices about how we want to live our lives. And a lot of times we do that based on what I want to do. What's going to be the most fun? Where can I find the most pleasure in life? I have the right to do whatever I want to do. I'm just going to live for myself. But this scripture says that's the wide road. That's the big gate. But if you want to walk through the narrow gate, we need to follow Jesus And that's what this scripture is talking about. It's all about our daily decisions. Jesus said, I am the way, and I am the truth, and I am the life. So if you want to have life, Jesus is the way, and Jesus is life. He says that in John chapter 10. Jesus is talking about a shepherd and his flock. And in verse 9, he says, I, Jesus, am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. He will come in and go out and find safe pasture. I like that. Safe pasture, that's what you find. What is safe pasture to a group of sheep, a flock of sheep? Well, number one, it means safety. It means protection. It means provision. It means plenty of grass to eat, nice beds of grass to lay in and rest in. Those are all the things that a shepherd provides for his sheep. But as we live our Christian life with Jesus, who is the way and the life, that's what he provides for us. Protection, safety, blessing, provision, all comes through life in Jesus. Verse 10 says, the thief comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But I have come that you may have life and have it to the full. And my question for you today is, are you living a full life in Jesus Are you choosing to live in God's blessing and God's fullness of life? Or are your actions hurting people, causing destruction, causing problems in and around you in your life and other people's lives? Are your words hurting and destructive? Are they bringing anger and and fear to people? Or are you bringing encouragement and uplifting and blessing to those that you speak to? My encouragement to you today is to just follow Jesus, live for Jesus, and find life. As we choose Jesus and we choose life on a daily basis in every decision we make, that's where we are blessed. Have a great day, Calvary.